Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome back. So, in this lecture, we will try to understand the behavior of tungsten carbide zirconia nanocomposites in tribological conditions. So, generally tungsten carbide based hard materials are used for varieties of applications such as cutting tools, rock drill trips, wear parts, tools and dies and metal forming dies etcetera. So, in the wear conditions the failure of these tungsten carbide based materials particularly the tungsten carbide cobalt hard material occurs due to mainly binder material removal and then the fracture and fragmentation of the ceramic material. So, if we can replace this metal binder of cobalt with zirconia ceramic. So, we can have a improved resistance to the degradation in high temperature conditions those are generally possible in high cutting tool applications. And also we can have an improved resistance to failure under sudden change in the loading or we can have a improved chemical stability at high temperatures because the system of the zirconia steel is chemically stable at high temperature than the cobalt or the steel. And in turn we get a superior wear resistance and superior oxidation resistance. So, mainly the degradation of the material in terms of the material the metal binder removal and R by the fracture or fragmentation can be reduced if you go for a ceramic additive than with than the cobalt binder. But the tribological properties of that tungsten carbide having zirconia composite is not understood thoroughly. So, we in this lecture we will see the key results obtained for the tribological behavior for a tungsten carbide 6 percent zirconia nano ceramic composite. First of all the tungsten carbide of around 0.2 micron meter and the zirconia which is a tetragonal zirconia which was stabilized by 3 percent yttria. So, 3 mole percent yttria stabilized zirconia powder of around 27 nanometers. So, these two powders tungsten carbide and zirconia were mixed and the mix in a tungsten carbide 6 percent zirconia powder mixture and this mixture was a spark plasma sintered at 1300 Celsius for 5 minute under 30 MPa pressure with a high rates of heating of around 600 Kelvin per minute. And all these ceramic composites they showed a very high density of more than 98 percent of the theoretical density and then also showed a hardness of around 24 giga Pascal and the fracture toughness of around 6 MPa root meter. So, the tungsten carbide cobalt material generally has a fract uh, has a hardness of around uh, 11 to 12 giga Pascal whereas, such a tungsten carbide zirconia has a extremely high hardness of around 24 giga Pascal. Of course, the fracture toughness is moderate with 6, 6 MPa root meter. So, the sintered tungsten carbide zirconia ceramic composite was investigated for the phase analysis and the microstructural characterization. The phase analysis by x-ray diffraction technique indicates the predominant phases of the tungsten carbide and a tetragonal zirconia. So, there is no other phase formed as well as no change from the tetragonal to monoclinic zirconia during sintering. So, this shows the efficiency of the sintering technique we used that is spark plasma sintered sintering. So, the spark plasma sintered tungsten carbide zirconia ceramics they showed a microstructure of equiaxed tungsten carbide grains 
tungsten carbide grains and then the zirconia particles particles along the grain boundary as well as inside the grain of this tungsten carbide. So, the equiax tungsten carbide grains have an average grain size of around 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 micron meter whereas, the zirconia particles are still within the nano region those having around 30 nanometers. So, considering the initial particle size of around 0 0.2 micron meter for the tungsten carbide and around 27 nanometers for the zirconia. So, this centering technique is efficient to have a dense material of tungsten carbide zirconia ceramic with a nano region of a zirconia particles distributed in a grain structure of the tungsten carbide. So, this there is a limited grain growth occurring in the spark plasma centering which is going to give a combination of superior properties. So, that is how we got a very high hardness of around 24 giga Pascal and a moderate fracture toughness around a 6 MPa root meter. So, these materials the tungsten carbide 6 percent zirconia ceramics were fretted against steel at a different loading conditions with a fixed combination of the fretting parameters. So, these fretting was done in a mode 1 fretting conditions which again gave a grass slip conditions at the contact. So, the fretting test parameters were fixed at 50 micron meter oscillation displacement with a frequency of 8 hertz and then the fretting was conducted with a varied numbers of cycles from 10 to 50 to 100,000 cycles. So, let us understand the frictional characteristics as a function of the fretting duration as well as the load applied. So, this fretting shows the friction is strongly dependent on the both load as well as the numbers of cycles. So, at a lower load the friction goes to a very less coefficient of friction around 0 0.1 in around 20,000 cycles and then remains almost same throughout the test up to 100,000 cycles. There is no change in the coefficient of friction. Whereas, as the load is increased to 5 Newton, the friction coefficient is around 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 in the initial 20,000 cycles and as it reaches the 40,000 cycles it actually shoots up and by around 60,000 cycles it goes to the maximum coefficient of friction of around 0 0.5. So, there is a transition with the fretting duration for the test done at 5 Newton load and if you can see the test done at the 10 Newton load you have the transition, transition occurring even at an early stage. So, the coefficient of friction was less in a initial stages of around 20,000 immediately after 20,000 it, it went up to uh, 0.5 average coefficient of friction in the steady state and it this reaches around 40,000 cycles. So, always there is a running in state and the steady state no much difference in the running in, running in state coefficient of friction and a steady state coefficient of friction at lower load whereas, there is a difference in the running in state coefficient of friction and the steady state coefficient of friction at higher loads. In addition to that we saw a transition transition occurring from low load to higher load in the friction. So, the transition to higher coefficient of friction occurs at an early stage for the test done at a higher load. So, and once it achieves the steady state it actually remains in the steady state throughout the test. The wear rate was also determined. So, you can see the wear rate varying from around 0 0.2 10 power minus 8 mm cube per Newton meter to around 1.2 mm cube per Newton meter. So, there is a change in the wear rate with change in the load as well as the numbers of cycles of this fretting. First of all the wear rate is of 10 power minus 8 mm cube per Newton meter. So, this is of very low wear rate as you compare with the wear rate obtained with the conventionally sintered, sintered tungsten carbide 6 percent zirconia ceramic. So, this shows 
10 power minus 6 mm cube per Newton meter, whereas the spark plasma centered tungsten carbide zirconia nano ceramic composite exhibited a wear rate of 10 power minus 8 mm cube per Newton meter. So, increase in wear rate is also observed with increase in the load as well as the cycle. Now, at a lower load, if you see at a lower load, the wear rate was less for the test done for the small numbers of cycles that is 10,000 cycles. For the test done at 10,000 cycles, even if you change the load, there is no much difference. So, it actually changes from around 0.2 to around 0.4 10 into 10 power minus 8 mm cube per Newton meter. Now, if you see the 50,000 cycle result, again at lower load, the wear rate was less and it actually increases uh, and then almost same at 10 Newton load. So, again there is a small increase with the load, but after 5 Newton there is no much difference. But if you look at the 100,000 cycle test, at lower load itself the rate was very high, almost to one order of magnitude higher than that obtained for the 10,000 cycles test. So, it actually increases monotonically with the load, highest wear rate is obtained for the test done at the 10 Newton load for 100,000 cycles. So, this particular information indicates that the wear rate varies with the load as well as the fretting duration. Similar to that we observed for the friction, friction also changes with the load or the fretting duration. So, the wear depth also indicates very important information, there is a negligible wear depth at lower loads of 2 Newton but a significant increase in the wear depth as well as the wear uh, rate at the higher loads of 10 Newton. So, uh, let us study the worn surfaces to under, understand the mechan, uh, mechanism of the metal removal for the tungsten carbide zirconia nano ceramic composites. At a lower load of 2 Newton, you can see the, the wear scar is, all, is very much smoother and a high magnification image of the same surface shows there is a mild abrasion. There is an abrasive groove. So, you have an abrasion which is a mild at lower load of 2 Newton. So, you, it is also agreeing with the information we obtained with the wear depth. The wear depth is negligible at a 2 Newton load after 100,000 cycles. Whereas, at higher load, actually the worn surface shows a significantly different characteristic than that obtained at the lower load. At higher load, the worn surface is mainly covered by a layer and the layer is different in the contrast than the worn surface that indicates there is a chemistry difference on the uh, in the layer. And, and you can see with increase in load again this chemistry difference the contrast difference increases increases and again if you can see there is a black region a white region and a bit a gray region a black region is a normal one surface and then the white region is mainly rich with the heavier elements than the grain uh, gray region so it is believed that this gray region has an iron and an iron oxide or the white region a bright contrast to shows a tungsten oxide uh, rich layer. So, we will also confirm this with the other EDS and other analysis. Now, we e these surfaces also indicate the tribo layer is severely cracked, severely cracked. The severe cracking of this tribo layer indicates it is non-protective in the nature. So, when the tribo layer is non-protective, it actually cracks and then the underneath surface is again subjected to further wear. So, if at a higher load of 10 Newton, the more pronounced cracking is observed after this 100,000 of cycle. So, tribochemical wear is dominant at higher loads that is fine Newton or more than the fine Newton. So, at lower loads 
it is mild abrasion and that higher loads of fine newton or more it is a tribochemical layer layer formation and then removal that we call it as tribochemical wear so there is a change from the abrasion to the tribochemical wear with change in the load in these studies so the debris are also collected and then the debris analysis also shows there is a striking difference with respect to load at the lower load you can see the debris of all very small size whereas at increased load of 10 newton you can see that dominantly the debris are of the sheet like or plate like debris with a larger size of course there is a smaller debris here but predominantly there is a sheet like debris and the sheet like debris is around 50 to 100 micron, micron meter whereas the small size of debris which is uh, observed after fretting at a lower load of 2 newton is around 2 micron meter so there is a change in the size of the debris as well as the shape of the debris with respect to load the epm analysis of this tribo layer indicates there is this tribo layer is rich with the tungsten so you can see the tungsten rich tribo layer of course there is a iron also present but it is a tungsten rich tribo layer so let us understand the wear resistance of the ceramic nano composites two important factors have to be considered number one the high hardness and the number two fine microstructure the higher hardness which is extremely high hardness obtained for this nano ceramic composite around 24 gigapascal that higher hardness lead to lower friction and wear but these are observed only at a lower load of 2 newton at lower load there is a very very less wear and characterized by the low wear depth it is less than 1 micron meter the material damage is restricted to sub, -mic sub micron region below the one surface whereas at higher load as the load is increased from 2 to 5 newton there is a transition in the friction and wear at lower load there was a mild abrasion abrasion whereas at higher load that is a fine newton or more the trabochemical wear dominates with respect to the finer microstructure obtained by the spark plasma centering for these nano ceramic composites at lower load of 2 newton you found fine debris the fine debris particles necessarily indicate the pull out of tungsten carbide particles the tungsten carbide particles and then once these are pulled out these these tungsten carbide particles are subjected to fracture so these are caused by the repeated fretting strokes and once these pulled out tungsten carbide particles are in the contact where this fretting is continuing in an ambient conditions so there is a possibility for the oxidation so the pull out tungsten carbide particles are oxidized to tungsten oxide so we can infer that there is a mild oxidative wear occurring on the at the contact at a lower loads of conditions of 2 newton whereas at higher load 5 newton or more these oxidized debris form a tribochemical layer the tribochemical layer is rich with the tungsten oxide or iron oxide so once these tribochemical layer rich with the tungsten oxide or iron oxide is stabilized the contact is actually between the steel ball and the layer not between the steel ball and and the tungsten carbide zirconia surface it is actually between the friction hap, uh, is happening between the steel ball and the layer so because of that you get a higher coefficient of friction so we can also understand the transition in the wear mechanism by studying the debris size so in a uh, lateral fracture model the minimum load required to produce the fracture because of the point contact is dependent on the fracture toughness hardness values for the so this roberts has explained that the minimum load required can be determined if you know 
if you know the fracture toughness and the hardness uh, for the Wicker's indentation. So, the in this formula the beta is a constant relating to the hardness to diagonal generally for the Wicker's indentation it is 2.16 whereas, this these constants of neta and theta are taken as 0.2 and then we can get this minimum load required for the fracture to obtain where there is predominantly abrasion and the minimum load required for the such an abrasion induced fracture is around 2.15 Newton for the investigated ceramic composite. So, as we have seen there is an abrasion predominantly mild abrasion happening at a lower load of 2 Newton. So, it is quite possible that a lower load of 2 Newton. So, such a fracture is initiated and then the removal of the material occurs by the abrasion. So, once this material is removed as a debris, these debris are trapped in the contact and few of them may go out of the can contact. So, few of the debris may be ejected out of the contact. So, that leads to a lesser coefficient of friction and also because of these debris in the contact it actually is a three body abrasion. The three body abrasion that means these particles will be able to roll easily. So, it gives a lesser wear. So, all this at a lower load of 2 Newton you got an minimum load of 2 Newton that is sufficient for the fracture occur. Once this fracture occurs that is debris are debris particles are in contact and few of them ejected out. So, that leads to lower coefficient of friction and because of the easy rolling it actually gives a lesser wear as well. Whereas, in case of a higher load you we saw there is a tribochemical wear dominating. So, the tribochemical wear actually resulted in a sheet like debris of a larger size of around 50 to 100 micron meter. So, we can also understand this with the adhesion theory the size of the debris can be actually related to the work required for the adhesion to happen. So, the work of adhesion that means the load as well as the tangential force. So, you can actually see the coefficient of friction involvement here. In fact, the coefficient of friction increases with the work of adhesion. So, long larger the amount of work of addition more will be the coefficient of friction. So, in order to maintain the relative movement higher frictional forces are necessary to break the adhesion bonds between the interlocking asperities at the higher loads. So, higher coefficient of friction implies dissipation of a larger frictional energy. So, also the higher coefficient of friction and wear can also be understood in by the non protective tribal layer nature. So, we have seen the tribochemical layer formation and then their cracking that indicates the non protective nature. The non protective tribal layer is fractured and gives the larger size or the sheet like debris and correspondingly higher wear at a higher load. So, these two mechanisms of the abrasion occurring at a lower load as well as the abrasion uh, adhesion and then the corresponding tribochemical wear occurring at the higher load can be understood right from the debris size. So, these two uh, mechanisms can be understood from the debris size. So, concluding the results obtained in the wear behavior of the tungsten carbide zirconia nano ceramic composite in a fretting conditions against steel lower coefficient of friction around 0.1 is observed at a lower load of 2 Newton whereas, frictional behavior undergoes a clear transition leading to higher coefficient of friction around 0.5 at higher load of 5 Newton or more than that. Mild abrasion to severe wear of tribochemical layer formation and its delamination is observed with the increase in the load from 2 Newton to 10 Newton. So, under the selected fretting wear conditions the tungsten carbide zirconia nano ceramic composites exhibits lower wear depth 
and lower higher wear resistance because of the hardness of the nano composite which is around 24 giga Pascal. The formation of mild abrasion scratches along with the finer sized debris indicates better wear resistance of the composite at lower load of 10 Newton. Whereas, at higher load of 5 Newton or more tribochemical wear is the dominant mechanism of the metal removal. The observation of the spalling induced by the cracking of this non protective tribal layer and the formation of a sheet like debris also suggest severe wear at the higher load. So, this particular study indicates the wear behavior of this tungsten carbide zirconia nano ceramic composite depends on the load as well as the fretting duration. The mechanism of the metal removal is changed from mild abrasion to tribochemical wear with the change in the load from the 2 Newton to 10 Newton. Thank you.